Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. So today we got us a Widowmaker tree we got to take care of. It's an elm tree that's died from Dutch elm disease and uh, it's fallen out of this elm grove here. And uh, it's laying over against some other trees here holding it up. In fact, there's a dead elm tree right there. There's a bunch of dead elms in here. And I uh, just take care of them as I can. But uh, we need to get this out of here. It's dangerous. It's laying over the little road back there that we go down. And uh, we have grandkids here from time to time. And they might try to climb on this or mess around in here. And I'd hate to have that tree fall on them. So I'm going to show you how I look at this tree, figure out what we need to do to it, and to safely get it down. Okay, let's take a look real quick at what we're dealing with. So uh, it's been dead quite a while. So all these limbs will snap really easy uh, they're dry and they're laying against so there's a dead elm right there they're laying on and this elm tree right here is dead and uh to fell these trees i don't have a lot of room in here uh maybe once i get this one out uh here i can uh, fill these two trees this direction this way because i'll have some space but you can see what it looks like back this way there's no room there either so I can't fell trees this direction. So uh, yeah, it's a leaner. It looks like it's about uh, 45 degrees there, a little less. So uh, we had some high wind and this uh, stump snapped off right there. So it's just uh, leaning up here. It's leaning on this little elm tree right here. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to save that or not. Uh, it's an elm tree, so it's liable to be uh, dying before long anyway from this Dutch elm disease. So there's a look at it from the other side. Now what we need to do is safely get this down uh, with the chainsaw. So my plan is uh, get this thing uh, cut like right in here. So what I'll do is try and get this to drop down and then I can get my tractor in here and hook on to this right here and drag it out that way. If it doesn't come down out of the trees when I cut this, uh, if it's still sitting there on the ground and this tree didn't fall, I'll pull my tractor in here and uh, get the chain on it right there and I'll drag it out and then it'll fall down and safely and there won't be anyone in the way. So for my safety cutting with this saw, I'm gonna be right here where I've got good footing. So this log is in compression on the top and tension on the bottom. So you don't wanna come in here and cut from the top. Uh, your saw will pinch immediately and it'll be stuck. So we need to Cut a little bitty notch right here, probably a couple inches deep, and then start cutting from the bottom up. And this tree will start buckling like that. And when it starts buckling, I'm gonna back away. This big piece can fall right here, and that piece there will swing down and fall probably right in there. So for me, uh, backing up, I got a little hill to contend with here, uh, not too bad. So I could just take five or six steps back, let it, uh, all the carnage happen behind me, and my saw will just come right down. Uh, when that starts to, to crack, I'll be uh, out of the way. And that's the plan anyway. So uh, let's get started on this crazy thing. Okay, we got us a Husqvarna 345 and I've modified it to uh, have a 20 inch bar uh, so you get a little bit more reach out of it. It's a good saw, I highly recommend it. has a thin curved chain and uh, it cuts pretty fast and I just sharpened this. So let's get going here.
Okay, so I was wrong on the way the load is on this tree. That's why these things are so dangerous. So it's actually got a little bit of cantilever going and it's trying to go up. So uh, that's odd. Uh, probably what's happening is all that weight's trying to come this direction and it's gonna wanna split like this which that's not good at all. I don't want to get on it and jump on it. I'm just going to continue. Uh, I can't undercut it because it's pinching, so I'm just going to be real careful and cut it slow right here. And when it starts to do its thing, I'm going to get out of the way. Uh, it could try and come at me some so uh, I just need to be sure and when it's moving get on my escape route and get out of here It's going to go this way. Okay, that poses a problem because uh, I can't get my chain in here and pull this because this little tree. So, this little tree here it's an elm it's going to die of the disease anyway and it's leaning over pretty good uh, I don't think it's going to perk back up so I'm going to take this little tree out and uh, get my chain up here and I'll just drag it that way okay so I decided I'm trying to limb this out under here so there's nothing that can whip me and uh, I'm going to take this out from down here and uh, release the, the tension on this here little sapling Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now all we need to do is just get this little tree out of here. So I'll cut that off and uh, I'll be able to hook the chain on right there. Okay, so we got it down and now all we need to do is uh, limb it out and uh, 
get the big pieces ready for fire. I'll probably put some of those logs and just kind of put them along this road here. And uh, I'm going to save these that are less than four inches and run them through the chipper. So make wood chips and uh, get this tree taken care of. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave the channel. Catch you on the next one.